And time for the first space Empire battle of this conquest. I believe last time I only showed one space battle. Which is a little less than I would want, I think. Just so that we're not repetitive, but so that we're showing enough. I think I'll show the first space battle, and all the way at the end to spread it out the last. You know, especially since I do miss them, as they are not a part of Battlefront 3, which is terrible. Gonna use the landing craft here. Wow, we take a lot of people. No other gunship does this, and there's like two of them are just passengers, not even, you know, firing. This is the ship you see Vader come out of in the movies, of course. Okay, and as for my other pointless observation today, <laughs> yeah. So, the hangar has to be on this side, because that's where the fighters are coming out, because, you know, this is one of those cruisers that there's only one side that has a hangar. The CIS ship is the only one that has both sides. Let's kill this guy. Bye. Yeah, because every ship except the CIS one has a... Yeah, we're not taking down that gunship together. Instead, let's pick on the bomber. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. And down. Who says you can't dogfight in a gunship? <laughs> Actually, I say that. Well, not effectively, but you can do it. You can def... Okay there. I totally should have rammed that guy. I don't know what I was thinking. I could have totally rammed that guy out of existence. I guess I just wasn't creative enough as I dropped five guys in here. Okay, now they're just getting out one by one. Now you're trying to be annoying. Damn you, JU535. Okay. As my men take care of some of that rebel scum, we're gonna go in here. Get out. Ooh. Oh, turret's not usually that quick to respond. Good job to you. I remember once I got shot down by this one just standing in front of it. Ah, oh, good times. I must take a moment, though, to pause and comment on how it's one thing to do after-the-fact commentary and have to do it, you know, after-the-fact, not at the same time. <laughs> it's another thing to redo live commentary I already did because <laughs> it's so much more tedious to go back and redo the commentary that I kind of want to keep but so that it doesn't sound bad if there aren't a bunch of clicks uh, but I will get through it and I will try to sound energetic when I do so hey who invited you my party bitch actually for being honest <laughs> some of my live commentary was so dull for this video that I'm doing most of it like just doing my own shit now and he is very bad at reacting, so we need two more for the shield generator. And they seem to be going with the, uh, we're all gonna be here shooting at you in the hangar strategy. They have all decided they want to get shot down by that one loser with a blaster pistol. Because <laughs> you know that we're gonna win. You know I'm gonna kill their shit. They're being damn stubborn about it too. Alright, time to blow this shit up. Michael Bay. Michael Bay, I channel you. I summon you, Michael Bay. <laughs> Come, aid me in this wanton destruction. <laughs> uh, and I am now glad that I'm redoing this commentary. <laughs> I think that was I think that was that moment right there where I'd been trying to reload like for eight seconds, but it wasn't working. And it finally did. Uh but seriously, Michael Bay is terrible. Yeah, I don't usually get this many kills on the space missions. It's just because they're all spawning here. Like, how can I not kill, like, 80 people? It's like, I have no choice but to have a huge kill per death ratio in this level here. Because they're just all here, and I have a precision pistol, and they're going to get wrecked. And that's kind of how it works. Also, he's going to step into that time bomb, and things are going to be merry. I'd be so happy. Oh, double time bomb. It's worse than teabagging. And the live commentary that resulted from this next segment of the video was so incoherent a caveman could have recorded it. Geico, save 50% on capital ship insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> Why are those two things so close together? I have many questions for you rebels. I mean, I know you're not as organized as an empire, but damn. Reload time. Yeah, that's another thing about live commentary. I have noticed both that it sounds terrible when I do it for whatever reason. 
and it shouldn't. I don't know whether to blame the Elgato system or not. <laughs> also, it's just what I say is shite. <laughs> I mean, I do that sometimes too with pre recorded audio, but it's even worse. It's not just weird, it's just shite sometimes. And yes, I realize I'm abusing my trap coach's accent, but it's okay because I'm Irish too. <laughs> that makes it okay. <laughs> Well, guys, let's go take out the Tete 4. <laughs> no, it's not the Tete 4, really, but it is a curling Corvette, like the Tete 4. And passing run, go to hell, communications array. Fry for your sins. Fry in the explosions. Explosions. The new kind of sin. Brought to you by Satan Lord of Darkness. <laughs> what am I talking about? See, I told you, even not in live commentary, I could say weird shit and no one can understand me. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, someone died there and it wasn't me. Oh, wow. Their parts are like still flowing around. <laughs> oh, suckers. It was like a three way collision there. One guy got sandwiched and the other end of the sandwich got killed too, but I am fine. I think the computer likes me better. I think it failed me there. Or that Y Wings armor is just a little bit, you know, <laughs> less strong than mine. I thought that other Y-Wing was going to ram me again, too. I thought I was going to get another ram kill. That would be fun. Hey, you. Stop being stubborn. You're not good enough to evade. You're going to die. Oh, well. My attention span isn't that great. These people think they can dogfight me, and I'm like, bitch. I on Ken. All right. I'm being way too easily distracted here. Let's kill this guy. Come on. We're so close. Might as well finish it off. All right, now let's go. We were gonna destroy this thing. Let's try actually doing what we came here to do. And whoa, whoa! Did that bomber actually hit me with a proton torpedo or a proton bomb? You know, one of the ones that curved curve downward. How does that work? That's some fancy firing, if you ask me. Damn! I wish I could pull that shit off. Physics is giving him a check, and I love how this R2 unit, or whatever it is, is letting me drive this, even though I'm on the opposite team. And my last bomb missed it. Ah, oh, so stupid. It's just barely alive. Oh well. Now it isn't. These engines look really funny. I must, I must comment on them. And back to working on the communications array. Let's go. You know what I'm noticing? Maybe it's not far-fetched the guy hit me, because these bombs take a lot longer to curve downward than the other ones. Different style, different style. Bombs away, bitch! <laughs> That's wrong. Symmetry. What the fuck's that turret doing? Hey, look, a command bridge. Let's kill Admiral Akbar. Hey, Admiral! It's a fucking trap, bitch! <laughs> Wow, we've been going on for eight minutes. Why is it taking that long to kill these guys? <laughs> Come on, kill that fish. <laughs> uh, I'm such a cheese ball. I swear to God, if I have to deal with another rebel fleet, I am going to choke a fish. Better run, Akbar. It's grilled tuna for lunch, motherfucker. Bam. That's if we can even salvage it. He's gone. Okay, maybe it's time to admit that it's not that the... Non-live commentary isn't weird. It's just that it's a weird that amuses me more. How about that? I almost said better weird, but I think that's subjective. <laughs> All right, let's take out the sensor relay over here. Why is there two things? What? What's the other thing that has to been destroyed? Did I? Oh, I forgot the life support systems. What a Jesse. See, this also makes it more fun not doing commentary live. Because I can make fun of my previous self for having done this. Wow, they've destroyed our ship more than we destroyed theirs. And yet they still have 60 less points. This computer really is way too nice to me, I must say. But I also must say that they have never lasted... Well, okay, I can't say that's not true. They have hardly ever lasted this long against me in space. Going on 10 minutes now. How insane is that? Of recording, at least. Uh, let's just blow this thing up from the outside. Uh, one of the two space missions I'm going to show with this conquest, people. And I forget something as obvious as the life support system. Only in the ZALP, people. Only in the ZALP. 
the Mont Calamari Star Cruiser. Yes, Mont Calamari. The system's so fishy, they named it after fried squid. <laughs> Mr. Uh, squid here, who was previously in the command bridge. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, that's the other thing I noticed. I am much more energetic when I do commentary after the fact, because I'm not distracted. Does anyone else feel like this entire commentary segment is me justifying my not doing live commentary anymore after this GQ? <laughs> You'll see a few more live commentary videos that weren't messed up, but other than that, you know. Anyway, after we destroy this, we just have to dogfight until they're dead. I mean, not until they're dead, until, you know, they're t we get enough points. I almost said ticks, that's not how space works. Until we have enough points to win. And now that I'm thinking about it, I must say, why is the life support system something you store on the outside of the ship? I mean, I know the computers inside control it too, but what is that dome? Oh, I'm thinking too much about this. It's just a video game adaptation of the Star Wars universe. Just shoot things to make them blow up. We're doing the Michael Bay thing again. And I am just realizing I showed off me destroying everything in the fleet. That's fun. Got to do that. Wow, we have one thing left. And I am switching to a TIE Fighter because that will actually help me dogfight. That guy's standing there doing nothing when we have six points left to win. Not like the Rebels are going to win anyway, but still. And hey, there's a guy with light armor. Let's take him out. That was easier than expected. Some of his maneuverability. Hey look, someone who's slow. Let's chip away at them until they're dead. Aaron Nomante. So close. How'd that not hit him? Ah, uh, how'd that not hit him? And I was not paying attention to the incoming missile warnings here. Ah, uh, getting eaten alive. He is literally so dead. And I am literally dead. Oh, right at the end well done, too. <laughs> Victory right as my wing is flapping away into the distance into the sunset. Oh That was our only death that entire time 19 kills one death death right at the end uh, Well, we could have had much worse happen the has credit Bye fleet the enemy See you later by later. I mean never Wait who's paying us who's paying the Empire money to do this? Is this money coming from our constituent planets? <laughs> Wouldn't we just take it? We're an oppressive government. <laughs> Do we have donors or something? I don't understand. All I know is that we have a battle on Mustafar next. And I shall reset my recording equipment. And a good day to you.